mobility around Nairobi is, uh, is something that is very important to us. You know, Nairobi has 5 million people during the day and 4 million at night. So there's a whole 1 million people who come in and, uh, and out of Nairobi every day. That poses a very significant challenge on the transport infrastructure. So apart from the Matatu um, uh, transport system, the mass uh, bus transport uh, system is a very important component. I think already a lot of work has gone into getting the bus lanes already. So this, comp uh, this uh, threshold will give us the ability, the ability to conclude that process so that we can move people in and out of Nairobi much more easily. We are also working on uh, um, a, a, a rail uh, system around Nairobi. We will be uh, maybe having a conversation with you. I think we have already built about 28 uh, stations out of a possible 36. And there will be a conversation, and we are happy that this uh, threshold is now being rolled out and uh, it will give us possibilities of what else can we look at to make transportation that much more easy. Uh, this grant is really about uh, the whole uh, topic of urbanization in Nairobi mm -hmm. and um, as I'm, I'm speaking to people who know much more than I do but uh, so I speak uh, very much under your control but of mm -hmm. course um, we see that Nairobi is one of the fastest urbanizing regions, uh, or cities, I should say, city region, um, in the world. Um, and uh, certainly Kenya has, must have been, reaped the benefits of a very uh, strong growth rate. But undoubtedly, it may have caused some challenges, and uh, where pockets of people may feel disconnected, challenged by the transportation system. Uh, so. In many ways, that's what this threshold program uh, is all about. It seeks to enhance urban connectivity by strengthening the Nairobi Metropolitan Area Transport Authority, which I think you will call NAMATA, uh, NAMATA, and also the Nairobi City uh, County Government. And it will help commuters um, who, of course, as you know, uh, rely principally on matatus uh, for their transportation. Uh, which I believe pose some challenges for people who are living in, you know, quite rural places, far away places, who may not have the resources, and in particular, uh, the current system may pose some real uh, issues for women. Um, so we're hopeful that overall this program uh, poses some solutions there.